Myanmar's military government has extended its state of emergency by six months. The move prolongs the army's grip on power and dashes hopes for a general election this year. Army Chief Min Online had initially said polls would be held in August. Now, the extension was widely expected, with the army's attention focused on fighting those they deem rebels who have been mounting insurgencies around the country. The emergency has been extended three times so far, exceeding the two allowed under the constitution. General Min led the military coup in 2021, you remember, that ousted the democratically elected government of Aung San Suu Kyi, claiming fraud in the polls. At the last extension, in February, he cited an extraordinary situation referring to resistance against his leadership. Under a state of emergency, the military is permitted to assume all government functions, giving General Min legislative, judicial and executive powers. Well, CNA's Leong Waikit joins us uh, with the very latest. Uh, Waikit, how does the military government justify the extension of the state of emergency again? And what does this mean for any future election? Well, Jill, the Myanmar military is justifying by saying that the country is still not politically stable. And this is what observers expect. They expect that Amiji Minolai wants to continue holding on to powers and, and therefore it, he will extend the state of emergency by six more months. But at the same time, it's also baffling observers because the 2008 constitution written by the army clearly states that the state of emergency can only be held in Myanmar for up to two years including with extensions. And as you said earlier, Jill, the country has been in a state of emergency since February 1st when Min Online launched the coup and it's never been lifted. And it appears that the army chief is using certain clauses and certain loopholes in the constitution and exploiting it by saying that he will need to uh, extend the state of emergency because the country is still not stable. The civilian national unity government has called this a blatant violation of the army's own constitution. Now, as for polls, it's not going to be held anytime soon because one, the timeline keeps changing, two, the conditions also keep changing. We know for a fact that in the six months during the state of emergency, polls cannot be held, but the army is also now launching nationwide census. And for the, pop, uh, for the population census to, be, census to be conducted, going from household to household to collect data, by the time it's completed, it will be about, uh, say, 20, 24 in October. And by the time the data is compiled to be used for the elections, it can only be held in early, if not mid-2025. Now, the conditions of the elections also keep changing. In the past, the army chief has vowed to hold elections in every part, every corner of Myanmar. But they're now also considering perhaps holding elections only in areas which are politically stable, leaving out areas like Magui, Sagaing and Chin State, which is seeing very strong resistance uh, from the uh, civil defence, uh, sorry, the civil disobedient movement side. Regardless, people of Myanmar will tell you that Elections are not necessary because back in 2020, they've already made their choice very clear and they've voted overwhelmingly for Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy. Now, Wakit, uh, recent reports say that the military is <coughs> planning to shift Aung San Suu Kyi's sentence to house arrest. Have they? Well, there's, no, there's been no official confirmation yet, but the army uh, spokesperson Zhou Min Tun had come out to talk about the Aung San Suu Kyi. His exact words when translated into English is, I don't know anything about Don San Suu Kyi. Now, this is a departure from his usual firm response because there are no specifics here and he's not using words like rumours or fake news. Um, and if you recall, Back in 2021, in August, Army Chief Min Aung Lai had hinted back then that once the Aung San Suu Kyi's trials have wrapped up, she could be transferred from jail to house arrest. Now, we haven't seen any official confirmation as yet because many observers and my sources are telling me that perhaps we should wait until August 1st and that's the day when the army uh, would uh, officially unveil what it calls the world's largest sitting Buddha statue. And sometimes on such occasions, the army tends to send signalings and perhaps during that day, it's going to signal that it is compassionate and it has uh, a sense of clemency by giving amnesty to political prisoners, including Aung San Suu Kyi. Again, like I said, this is what sources have told me and my reporter friends will have to keep a watch out for whether or not this really happens on August 1st. All right, they're reporting on the very latest uh, Leong Waikit uh, uh, on the updates there from Myanmar.